Hello students, today I will talk about friction. I will make few videos on this particular chapter and I will discuss all the important numericals in those videos. So in order to understand those numericals, we first have to understand about the basic concept of friction. So in this video, I will discuss the concept of friction. So let us start with the first part. Suppose we have a body and this particular body is resting on a surface. And uh, in this particular case, let us say no external force is acting on the body. So if I have to make the free body of this particular situation, then in that free body, we can represent two forces. One will be the weight of the body, which will act in downward direction, vertical downward direction. And corresponding to that weight, there will be a normal pressure, uh, which will act at 90 degrees to the horizontal surface on which this body is resting. So if we will talk about friction in this particular situation, there will be no friction. Why? Because friction will not develop as long as there is no component of force acting on the body along the surface. You see in this whole system only weight is acting in downward direction and it has no component along the surface. It means there will be no friction. No friction means F is equal to zero. F over here we are using for friction. One more thing to understand, in this whole system there are only two forces which are acting in vertical direction uh, where N is acting in upward direction we will consider this as positive and W is acting in downward direction we will consider this as negative. So this particular system is in equilibrium that means whatever forces which are acting along uh, vertical direction if I add those two forces their sum must be equal to zero because there is no motion of the body along vertical direction as well. As we said that this particular body is in equilibrium. So it means for this particular system, second equation which we can use is summation Fy equal to zero. So N is positive N minus W equal to zero, which we get from this particular equation. So from the first step, what we have learned that if a body is resting on the surface and there is no external force acting on the body, and in that case, there will be no friction. Now, let us consider the second case. In the second case, suppose the same body is resting on the surface. So what are the first two forces to represent? That weight of the body which will act in downward direction and it will receive normal pressure. Then suppose on this particular body, we have applied one force. Let me name that force as P. It is acting at some angle to the horizontal. Now, if I have to resolve this force into its components, let us say one component is along the surface and second component is normal to the surface. So let me call this as PY and this component as PX. Now one thing to understand over here, this particular force has one component along the surface. So tendency of this particular component is to move this particular body towards right. But suppose this particular body is not moving. So why it is not moving? It means there is some friction developed which is acting in between these two contacting surfaces which opposes the effect of this particular horizontal component of the force. So in this case we can say there is friction and over here, we have to consider two equations of equilibrium. As we said, the body is not moving along horizontal direction or along y direction. So let us consider its motion along x direction first, that is along horizontal direction. So how many forces are acting along horizontal direction? One is Px, another is F. As body is not moving, it means we can say all the forces which are acting along x direction or horizontal direction, their sum must be equal to zero. Any force acting towards right we will consider positive, any force acting towards left we will consider negative. So for this particular equation we can write Px minus F is equal to zero. From here we will get that F is equal to friction force is equal to Px. Now one thing to understand in this particular situation the body is in equilibrium in x direction. So whatever for friction force is acting we will call that friction force as static friction. Now another thing to understand that there are some vertical forces also which are acting on this particular system and the body is not moving along vertical direction as well. It means we will say all the forces which are acting along vertical direction 
if i will add those forces the sum must be equal to zero so any force acting in upward direction will be taken as positive any force acting in downward direction will be taken as negative so i can write n minus py minus w equal to zero and one more thing to understand in the previous case also there was no motion and in this case also there is no motion now let us understand the next concept now let us increase the magnitude of this particular force further so in order to show that increase in the next free body what i will do i will i will make longer vector for p so same body resting on horizontal surface so its weight is acting in downward direction w it is receiving a normal pressure n so suppose this p is increased further its magnitude is increased but angle is same let us say and let me show its two components as well one is normal to the surface another is along the surface so let us call this as py this is px now as we uh, said in the previous case also because of this particular component of the force friction force will develop in between the contacting surfaces now same friction force will be here as well but one very important part to understand in this case we said that the magnitude of the frictional force is increased when you will increase the magnitude not the friction force the external force when you will increase the magnitude of this external force then its component along x direction the magnitude of that component will also increase so with this increase in the magnitude of the horizontal component of the force the magnitude of frictional force will also increase so this is a very important part to understand so when you will keep on increasing this particular force external force what will happen its horizontal component will also keep on increasing and frictional force will also keep on increasing until its maximum value suppose it has reached its maximum value called as fm we call that value as limiting friction or the maximum static friction available in between these two surfaces remember this the this maximum friction force will be available when the body is not moving or we can say the motion is impending the meaning of motion is impending is that motion is just about to start that it has reached to its maximum value and it is able to overcome the magnitude of this horizontal component but if i increase this component further by even a small amount then this particular frictional force will no longer be able to counter this particular horizontal component and motion will start so that's why we said in this particular situation motion is impending motion is just about to start but still there is no motion because frictional force has reached to its maximum value and it is able to counter the force acting along x direction or along the surface for this particular situation so in this case still we can say the body is in equilibrium so we can apply this equation that summation fx is equal to 0 so this equation will again give us px minus fm that is a maximum value of static friction that is limiting friction so px is equal to fm second thing body is not moving along vertical direction again that equation will be applicable summation of y equal to 0 so you can say n minus py minus w equal to 0 same equation no changes fine so it is a very important part to understand that in this case motion is impending but still there is no motion now let us consider the last case which is the fourth case so in this case what we will do we will further increase the magnitude of this particular external force so let me draw the free body same body resting on the surface and weight is acting in downward direction it is receiving a normal pressure so I am saying that P is further increased, external force is increased. So let me show its two components, one is along normal to the surface PY, another is along the surface PX. Now what will happen, when you will increase this PX further, then it will overcome this frictional force and motion of the body will start. It means over here there will be motion of the body. 
so once there is relative motion between the body and the surface in contact then this particular frictional force will change to kinetic friction a very important part to understand so in this particular situation body is moving along x direction so you can't say that summation fx is equal to zero this is not applicable for this particular situation now the third thing which is applicable over here is that is summation fy equal to zero it is still applicable why because body is not moving along y direction so from this equation still we will get same equation that is n minus py minus w equal to zero and over here what we can say that the kinetic friction is equal to mu k n mu k is coefficient of kinetic friction and is the normal pressure and in the previous case we can say that limiting friction that is fm or maximum static friction available is equal to mu s n mu s over here is coefficient of static friction now these four cases should be in your mind if you want to solve any numerical on friction chapter so let me uh, revise these cases again it is very simple to understand if we have a body resting on a surface let us say horizontal surface if no external force acting on the body then in that case there will be no friction and this whole system is in equilibrium so you can say summation fx is equal to zero and summation fy equal to zero and there will be no motion but if you apply some force on this particular body and if there is component of that force along the surface then that component will be responsible or will have the tendency to move the body along the surface so if the body is not moving even because of that component that means there is friction between the two surfaces in contact which will uh, which is opposing the motion so if the body is not moving it means we can say there is no motion but still there is friction and if body is not moving there is no motion it means both equations are again applicable that is equations of equilibrium summation fx is equal to zero summation of y equal to zero now if we increase this particular force further then the horizontal component will also increase and friction force will also increase and it will reach to its maximum value fm so there is very important part to understand that for a particular situation when frictional force existing between two contacting surfaces has reached to its maximum value called as limiting friction or maximum static friction available between the two surfaces then in that case this maximum frictional force is able to counter this horizontal component of the external force still there is no motion but in that in this case we have to say motion is impending that motion is just about to start that means if i increase this p or this external force even a small amount further then what will happen this fm will no longer be able to counter this px and motion will start so for this particular situation we can say maximum value of frictional force is reached and motion is impending so the whole system is still not moving so still both conditions are applicable summation fx is equal to zero summation fy equal to zero and limiting friction or the maximum static friction is equal to mu s n this formula you should keep in your mind where mu s is the coefficient of static friction and is the normal pressure now the last case if we increase p or this external force further then what will happen fm will no longer be able to counter this px and motion will start and when motion will start this fm static friction will be converted into kinetic friction so in this particular situation there will be motion so as body is moving along x direction so summation fx is equal to zero can't be applicable but body is not moving along y direction so summation fy equal to zero is still applicable so kinetic friction over here will be equal to mu k n where mu k is coefficient of kinetic friction n is the normal pressure so these four cases should be in your mind these are very very important as far as friction chapter is concerned so in the next video i will uh, summarize these four cases uh, by by making a video on laws of friction thank you very much